In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps you would use to search for a vehicle by license plate. In order to perform this type of search, your system will need to have one or more automatic number plate recognition cameras or under vehicle surveillance systems. They would need to be properly configured, added to your Hike Central, and then vehicle license plate numbers recognized by the cameras could be searched to find related vehicle passing information. Let's see how we perform a vehicle search. From the Hike Central Control Client, we're going to navigate to the Investigation section of my dashboard and then look for the icon that says Vehicle Search. Once you've selected Vehicle Search, you're going to be presented with the Vehicle Search window. Inside of Vehicle Search, starting in the upper left-hand corner, we need to choose the source for our search. We have two options here, cameras or under vehicle surveillance system. Now the cameras, of course, will need to be ANPR cameras. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and choose camera, and then I'm going to choose to add cameras. Now in my case, my ANPR cameras have been placed into an area of the same name, so very easy for me to find them and I'm going to go ahead and add two different ANPR cameras. This one is parking lot entrance back and this one is parking lot entrance front. I'm going to close this window and now we see that these are my source cameras for this search. There's a few additional filters that you can use if you choose to do so. The first one is called Mark. Now under Mark we have the options of All, Marked, or Unmarked. Depending on your particular application, perhaps all employee vehicles have been marked over previous time. So when I do a search, I don't necessarily want to see employee vehicles, I want to see unknown vehicles or unmarked vehicles, so I would then choose unmarked. In any case, you can use this any way you wish to do so. Later on, we'll see how we can mark or unmark a vehicle as necessary. For our purposes now, we'll go ahead and choose all. Same thing for country and region. If we want to look for a specific country or region type license plate, but for our purposes, we're going to leave this at all. The next two areas, plate number and owner, obviously this would be searching for a vehicle that you already know something about, either the plate number or the owner's name. You don't have to put the exact license plate number and you don't have to put the exact owner's name. You can do what we call a fuzzy search put in a few letters in the correct order and so forth and you may get more results than you wish but it also means you don't have to remember the entire license plate or entire owner's name so if I put in J-O-H under owner then I would get everyone whose name had J-O-H in it in that order somewhere within their name such as John Smith. The next section we're going to look at is time we have many options here, just like you've seen in other search video tutorials that you may have watched. But it's a little bit different here. We have today, that would be since midnight. We have yesterday, that would be yesterday from 000 hours until 2359 hours. We have the current week. Now the current week, if today is say Wednesday, would go back to Sunday, Sunday through now. Sunday at 12 a.m. until now. The last seven days would give me a full seven days. So again, if today's Wednesday, it would go back to the previous Wednesday. Last 30 days, again, goes from today and 30 days back. And last but not least, you have a custom time interval where you can choose the from time and the to time. And of course, the date to go along with that as well. To make things simple for us, we're just going to go ahead and choose today. And we'll click on search. And now on the right side of the screen, I have a list of vehicle passings that have occurred today. And because I've chosen both my front and my back camera, one that's getting the front license plate, one that's getting the back license plate, you can see that in almost every instance, I have two captures. So we can see the label, marked or unmarked. So here is how I can mark a vehicle. By clicking on the flag, I have now marked this particular license plate. If I wanted to unmark it, I would just click on it again, and now it is unmarked. I have the plate number, I have the time, I have the camera name, 
no owner or phone number information because I don't have these vehicles loaded up into my vehicle list. The country region shows up as unrecognized. I have some additional operations I can perform as well. As you see here, I can add this vehicle to the vehicle list. So if I go ahead and click on add, now I've got the plate number filled in. I can choose which vehicle list I want to add this to, and I only have one list right now, corporate office. And if I have the information, I can add the owner's name, the owner's phone number, and then click add to. Next item we have is a download. So if I wanted to download this actual vehicle passing, I can go ahead and click on that, and now the download is in my download center. So here in the download center, you see that I have one new download. I can open the download center up, and if I choose to do so, I can open this file, and this file is gonna play back in VS Player for me. If I wanna play it again, just go ahead and double click on it and play it again, and I can control this. I can pause, play, fast forward. Once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and go back to my vehicle search. I can take a look at any of the other results. Now you might notice quite a few results, but if we look in the lower right hand corner, we see that there are additional pages of results as well. At any time, I can go to a result and just double click on the plate number and it will open up another window for me on the right hand side. In this window, I'm getting a still image of the capture as it occurred. I see what the camera sees and what the character recognition came up with for this particular license plate. If there was a mistake or there was something wrong here, I could actually edit this and make appropriate changes to it. I can also switch directly to video mode to see the video of that vehicle passing. Just that easy by just clicking on video. I can also again switch back to picture and if this is not what I was looking for, notice down here at the bottom of the window I have previous and next. So maybe I want to see the vehicle that passed just before this one. And we see that that's the front of a different vehicle. If I go previous again, that's the back of that same vehicle. And previous again, the front of another vehicle. So very nice controls right here between the picture side and the video side. I want to also point out in the upper right hand corner, I can export this video to my local PC. So you see here it's creating a file, uh, MP4 video that I could save if I wanted to do so. So a lot of different things that I can do from this window here. Along with that, just above this window, there is another export button. Now this is not going to export the video, but what it's going to do is it's going to export all of my search results. So you see here now I have a vehicle record, PDF file. I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my desktop. Click on save. Now I can go ahead and browse to my desktop folder. And here is my vehicle record that was just created. And this is giving me a list of all the vehicles from today, the information, and even the thumbnail. So this can be a very powerful tool. Many different ways, many different applications that you could use this for. You can go ahead and close this window. And if you wanted to maybe modify your search, if you notice that there is a little tiny, very hard to recognize tab button here to bring your search window back on screen. And you can go ahead and modify your search parameters if you choose to do so. Just to give you an idea of how the filtering system might work, I'm going to go ahead and put in a plate number now, but I'm going to use fuzzy logic, so I'm going to put in 6WV, and I'm going to choose a time period of the last 30 days, and I'm going to click on search. And let's see what we get. Well, I get the same plate number basically repeated over and over again for the last 30 days, and of course, if I wanted to see additional pages, I would need to click on the right arrow. One last thing, when you are getting your search result, you'll notice right now that they're in a list. You can actually switch this mode into thumbnail mode and get a thumbnail representation of each vehicle as they came through. This would be extremely useful, not necessarily when you're looking for a specific plate, but when you're looking for a specific vehicle based on vehicle type or color, something like that. 
So a quick example of that, just so that you can see it, I will remove the plate number. I'm gonna change the vehicle search to today and click on search. And now we'll get a new list. And as you can see, each vehicle that's being displayed, I can see partially the vehicle type, the color, etc., And that might help me narrow my search down much, much quicker. Once I get to a file that I want to see more information about, I can simply double click on it and then I get the same information over here that we saw before. I have my picture. I can watch the video of the vehicle passing. And then I can choose whether or not I want to mark that vehicle and so on and so forth. So very, very powerful tool using a vehicle search within Hike Central. Keep an eye out for our next video which will show you how to actually use ANPR information in the live mode. Thanks for watching.